I got a heap of these welding rods from a farm clearing sale but I found they were very hard to start and to keep running. It says there for AC supply but what I'd like to do is to modify my welder so it runs with DC. Here is the reason why I want to change the welder from AC to DC. With an AC wave it starts at zero and then goes to full voltage, then goes to zero, then comes underneath, goes to full voltage and then back to zero again. Now every time that happens and goes to zero it extinguishes the arc. And this is a waveform from a full bridge rectifier. It's no different. Starts at zero, goes to full voltage, then goes to zero. Now how I would intend to change that is to use an inductor or a choke and use capacitors so it'll start at zero and then go to maximum voltage but the waveform will not go back to zero again therefore making the arc easier to strike and also to run. I also got this voltmeter and amp meter plus contactor for 20 bucks at a garage sale so I'll be using this to test the welder I will now give the welder a test and we'll see how many amps it will draw. Well that's interesting. It's 25 to 30 amps is going through that plug when it's welding. How do the manufacturers get away with that when they put only a 15 amp plug on it? Actually, can anyone on YouTube tell me why this happens? Right, this is what happens when you touch the rod on the job and you don't strike an arc. It's a full short circuit. Nearly 50 amps. Here is a view of my setup. Changing AC to DC. There are the two output leads from the welder. They go over to here. This is my bridge rectifier. There's one of the AC leads in. And there's the other AC lead going in. Now what I've done is I've used some diodes from my junk box. And here's two large ones here. They're 300 amp each. And these two here are 50 amp but they're four diodes in parallel so they should give about 200 amps. Now the output is here for positive it comes around here and that goes off to your welding electrode and your negative comes off here and that goes over to your work, your earth. Right, we'll give it a test run on DC. Doesn't seem to be much of an improvement. So for the first improvement I'm going to use a smoothing choke and hopefully it will stop the voltage from dropping completely to zero and therefore extinguishing the arc. That definitely improved the stability of the arc. Now the smoothing choke seemed to work really well to smooth out the ripples so I thought why not try capacitors We've got about 7,000 microfarad on those capacitors and we'll see how they work. Well that was pretty useless, it was very hard to start and then it ran but it's very difficult to maintain that arc. 
I'm going to use the capacitors but as well combine them with the choke and we'll see how this one goes. Wow, that one turned out really well. I think that might be the combination I need. Starts every time and continues the arc. The previous test was very successful, so now I'd like to measure the voltage drop when I'm actually welding. It's presently 107 volts, and we'll see what happens.